In the last video, we have seen how to install Ubuntu in a virtual machine. Now we will get into installing ROS. Before that, initially you need to run the commands, uh, which uh, it will take a few more units. Uh, and after that, you just need to install ROS. That's it. For this, it will take some time to install and update everything. You just need to open the terminal. That's it. If you want to find the terminal in this, you can type terminal. You will find terminal. Or else you can just type uh, it on Control Alt plus D. You will open up the uh, terminal. And this initially you need to run sudo apt get update. It will ask for password because we are using sudo. Because sudo is nothing but super do user. Whatever the command you are executing, if you implement it sudo, it is the administrative level of executing the commands. So it will have to execute everything. There are command. Next is write the upgrade. This command is going to take a lot of time, and if you have a and it is more or based on your internet connectivity, it will take uh, it will upgrade everything in this. Oh, yes. Just click enter and here it will ask for yes or no do you want to continue of course we want to continue just press y and hit on continue enter so this will take a lot of time you can sit back and relax until this completes and after that we will proceed to install ROS. once the command is done I execute one more command and this is a trick in ubuntu uh, you can recall the commands you executed last time just by clicking the up arrow and uh, if up arrow it goes on like that you just need to give full upgrade full hyphen sudo apt full upgrade this requires password type it click enter y and it will take some more time just sit back and relax if this command is over then once again run sudo apt git update okay we are done with it now we are going to install draws in this. Just go to the browser. Initially it will ta take time to open everything because you newly installed the OVS and everything because it takes some time to refresh but initially it will be a bit laggy after two or three times it will be totally fine so don't worry about that if it is a bit laggy and just type ROS if you type ROS the first thing you will see is ROS.org click into that link Once the website is open, in this you can see there are two versions in the front that is ROS Melodic and Kinetic Game. You can ask which version we are going to install. We are going to install Kinetic Game. You can ask why Kinetic Game? Why not Melodic? Okay, there are n number of versions released by ROS community, by ROS OG. Uh, like uh, if you know want to know about the ROS origin and everything I will put a link in the description of uh, another video which I explain everything about ROS and how it started okay 
uh, and thus we are going to use kinetic game just click download it will redirect you to a wiki page and thus you need to for select your OS which OS you are going to use in this case we are going to use Ubuntu and this will redirect to you to a wiki page and here you can see a set of commands which you need to execute on your terminal and if you, you want to just copy paste all the commands to the terminal initially you need to set the <coughs> initially you need to set the variables and the environment okay uh, first copy this command source list just control c in command ter terminal control v doesn't work so you need to right click and you need to paste it so once the link is pasted just click enter to execute it yes well and good good executed next you can oh uh, well you can do this just keep the terminal over here and right click on it till it is always on top so if you click on the uh, browser it won't go back so you just copy the next command set up your keys and there are also you know, alternative keys for it you, just, you don't need to do that just put sura apt key and just paste and just click enter and it will create the keys for it and you need to again run the sudo apt update copy paste run here there are many versions of raw kinetic so which version are we going to install see you can see the desktop full desktop ROS base package everything but gmapping slam all those things are there but we need the whole package not a single one so we are going to install the ROS desktop full copy paste desktop full click enter and it's going to take some time why yes and wait for it to install just sit back and relax it will install in some time Once the ROS desktop folder is completely installed, then you need to check on the source list. For that, you just open the terminal. After the terminal is open, you need to just type lsb underscore release space hyphen and fc. Uh, this is just nothing but uh, you can uh, just check the source list. It doesn't matter, you need to check after installation of ROS desktop folder. You can just check uh, when you uh, install the, the source list. At the time itself, you can check it. It's not uh, like uh, you need to install everything. If you get Xenon, then it is correct. If you get something else, then check your source list. This is the command. After this command itself, you can exit this com uh, command and see whether you can do it. And APT is the number of uh, ROS, uh, ROS packages you can see if you execute this code then you will see the number of uh, packages and libraries that uh, in ROS you have installed so these number of uh, packages we have installed in this so there is a uh, there are these many packages you can see yourself if you want to uh, see by yourself just go on uh, one by one there will be all the mathematics functions behind it so let me minimize this to execute the next command Set so uh, set up the environment for uh, python and, uh, okay before that i need to do the sourcing because source is the uh, important thing for uh, executing the command simulation and uh, everything because the command and this the we need to add it to the bash folder bash folder uh, is nothing but where you execute the command it was like a path to the directory everything 
is co coordinated together. You just copy this uh, command over there and you just paste it in the terminal. Once it is pasted out, you can just see there's a bash rc that is the file where you're going to paste the command that is source uh, opt and set up dot bash. Echo is the copying that once it is done, it is done. Then just source it, source uh, bash rc, then copy it and paste it over there. Uh, it's done. And then other uh, sources you don't need to implement it, just leave it out. We already did the sourcing, it's not necessary. And after that, you just need to do the dependency of building packages. You just copy the uh, command over there. It is just installing the uh, Python script for raw. So it will install it, just copy and paste it. It will install in few seconds. It's asking for password. Okay, of course, why? These are the com commands you need to install in your terminal just by copying from the wiki page and just pasting it in the terminal. Copy it and follow it in order. Don't mix up the order, please. So uh, it may leave you in standard place, which uh, result in not installing the ROS properly. So it may uh, result in some malfunctioning you couldn't uh, use it so next initialize it it's done everything is upgraded now with this ROS dev is nothing but the in installation of the dependencies of the ROS files Initialization, once it is done, all the packages are installed, just need to do the raw step update. Yeah, just copy paste it, raw update, step update, it will update everything. Once it is done, you have installed raws in your machine. To confirm it, you need to do run one command. It will show which version of it was installed in your system. Then you will come to know about it is installed successfully or not. Okay, once this is done, just type ROS version T. Okay, it says kinetic and we installed kinetic game. It's the same. So now ROS is successfully installed in your system. If you get the kinetic, if you haven't get uh, the kinetic, just follow the steps properly. Do it once again, you will get it for sure. This is the easy way to install ROS in your system and this is the official way. Don't uh, mix up any other uh, commands with that. That's it. Uh, let's meet you in the next video and set up the CatKey workspace. Thank you, bye.